Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to look at today is how to create a simple neon light flicker inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, hit that bell, as it really helps me out and uh, shows that people are interested in what I'm doing and um, we'll try to explain. So what we're going to do is create a simple blue print prefab, and we'll just give it a name like Neon Cube. We'll just drag that into our scene, and we're going to open up that blueprint. Um, so what we're going to do here is just go Add Cube and um, I'm just going to use a cube for this example, it can be applied to anything this really um, so we'll go compile save so close that, so we've got our cube there, so now what we're going to do is right click material, name this M underscore neon flicker so we'll open up our material and um, what we'll do first is just give it a colour so if we hold a 3 on the keyboard and click a left click that gives us our color so we can feed that into the base color um, and we'll just give this say a nice red color um, yep there we go or pinky red or whatever it is so now what we're going to do is we want to basically we've got our, our just simple light texture here what we want to do is we want to feed in our um, nodes that control like say the time and makes it pulse essentially so what we'll do is we will um, hold M on the keyboard M for mother and click left click and we're going to plug that in and then we're going to hold one to give a constant and click again and plug that in so this is going to set our emissive value so we'll set this to 50 so what we're then going to do is hold M again for mother and plug that in and that's going to be plugged into the emissive so we should get a glow so there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to plug into this what we need um, to basically make the pulsing happen so we'll start up here we'll right click type time and then we'll drag off and type multiply or again you can hold M on the keyboard we're going to hold one on the keyboard and we're going to set this value to one and uh, we'll come back to this in a minute and then we're going to drag off of that type in sign s i n e we're going to type drag off of that and type frac f r a c and plug that in so what it's going to do in theory is it's going to pulse our light now what we can do here is we can control the speed of this by setting this value so we've got a very slow pulse now um, we can set see something crazy um, so you can see there that's a very um, very quick way of um, controlling our light. We can control the color here. Um, say we want it blue, um, whatever. So what we can do then is then apply this material to this. So we'll open up our neon cube and um, click on cube and just drag our material in. And I've uh, dragged that into the material. This can be dragged into any anything really. Um, what I'll do is I'll just turn that down. This is a bit erratic. And you can see that we now have a flickering cube. Um, what you can do uh, is then expose these parameters to say um, that. In fact, I'll show you. So what we can do here is we can go right, right click on the open our material. So right click on one, convert to parameter, and then put a uh, flicker speed. And then what we can do is we can right click on here convert to cramp parameter neon color and right click on this one and go emissive power that's right so then go save so what we can do here is we can then I'll just close this window right click on our material go create material instance and we're going to name this neon flicker uh, red so that's what it says it is so we'll drag that onto what I'll do is I'll just delete this cube click on the little cube with the plus icon and type in cube um, only because it's for the purpose of this just makes it easier for me to show different examples so what we can do here is we're going to drag three cubes off on the first cube we're just going to drag our red material and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate of this neon flicker red and we're going to name it blue and we're going to name this one again uh, create a material instance and name it green and we'll go in the blue one and what we can do here is you can see those parameters that are inside our master material are now here and easy to change so what we can do is we can say well this one's going to be blue and we want the light flicker and the miss of power to be this uh, we're going to say uh, 0.7 so it's slower and 
we're going to drag that onto our cube. So now we've got different different flashing uh, you can see here, and we're going to do the same with green. Tick, tick, tick. Um, green. What we're going to do? I've made a mistake here. Is we're just going to delete that, and we're going to go take a material instance off of that the master material. And the reason is, is that was pulling. Um, I'd create a material instance off of that, so it's pulling the details from that. So we don't want that. So click, 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 and we're going to say this is going to be one point two, and this is going to be green. And what we can do then, as you can see, we've got different values set here, and we've got a little little disco lights or whatever. And um, you can see here straight away that you could create, apply these to signs or whatever, and um, it's a very quick solution. Um, and we've got a sort of a basic introduction to like uh, material instances, allowing us to change values of things and things like that. You can make these incredibly complicated if you want to. So uh, hopefully this helped, and cheers.